So we have this question given to us and we want to solve it. Given that a is equal to 4.0 times 10 exponent negative 2. B is equal to 3.0 times 10 exponent negative 2. And C is equal to 100. Evaluate without using tables or calculators. Square root of A squared plus B squared all over C. Leave your answer in standard form. So what we are going to do is that first we do substitution. Wherever we see A, we replace it with this. Wherever we see B, we replace it with this. And wherever we see C, over here, we replace it with 100. So that is what we have done. And we obtain this expression over here. Now what we are going to do next is to evaluate whatever is here. So now let's go. We square each of these values. So we get 4 squared times 10 is for negative 2 squared. Over here 2, we have 3 squared. Then times 10 exponent negative 2 squared. All over 100. Now let's evaluate 4 squared and 3 squared. So 4 squared will give us 16. And 3 squared will give us 9. Now the next we are going to do is that we have 10 is for negative 2 squared and 10 is for negative 2 squared. That is common to this term and this term. So we are going to factor it. So when we factor, we obtain 16. When we factor 10 is for negative 2, we have 16 here. So this is it. And we have 9 here, and that is it. So we factor the 10 for negative 2 all squared over here. Now we can add 16 and 9 and that will give us 25. At this point we can share the square root for all of them. We can share the square root for 25 then 10 for negative 2 squared and for the 100. So let's do that. And that will give us this expression. Now what do we do next? We need to take square root of each of them. So square root of 5 will give you, we give you square root of 25 will give you 5. Square root of 100 is 10. And this one, this will cancel this. So square root of 10 is for negative 2 squared is 10 is for negative 2. Now what do we do? 5 over 10 is 0 0.5. This is not in standard form, so we will write it in standard form. That will give us 5.0 times 10 is for negative 1. So we now simplify this by adding the exponent, since the basis are the same. So that will give us 5.0 times 10 is for negative 3. Therefore, the result of this is 5.0 times 10 is for negative 3 in standard form. Now, if you can still see this writing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.